Nothing like being at the train station at 6 30 in the morning. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? One of us has reclining seat and one of us does not. The business class is pretty nice, aside from the fact that, as Kate mentioned, my seat does not recline. Oh well, it's a really nice train. We are going to Konya, and the reason is that Chris met some friends, Dal, and they said you have to go to Konya. They have this spinning, whirling, whirling der dervishes. <laughs> and we already met some new friends on the train. Hey Hello. guys. Hi. I'm from Pakistan. She's gonna give me an introduction as well. No, no, I'm done, I'm done. That's not for me. I'm done. We're on our way to Konya as well and um, hoping to spend the weekend there. I was trying to convince Kate to go on a trek to Pakistan in September. We were informed it may be a little cold for us at that time. Ever been north before? Never seen snow before. Thanks guys. No worries. The YHT is the high-speed rail in Turkey. It's five, six hours on a train instead of about 20 hours on a bus. Don't book the seats in the back because even though they're business class, they do not recline. There, I'm done whining about that. Catch you from Konya. Hotel is really nice. Our room is nice. Sitting room. Lots of pillows, which is nice. Solid, but so it feels it's like it's soft. Everything you can put. I think it'll do just fine. And they have breakfast on the roof in the morning from 7 to 10. And it came with our room. The rooftop dining area is quite a nice surprise. What a view. Now we're just getting freshened up a little bit before we head out to explore the town. And by explore the town, he meant get some food. Food, yes. This love's closed. Well, that place is closed, it doesn't open until 2 30, so next place. Last three places have been closed, so we're trying a fourth. All right, I'm giving up on this. I'm just gonna go pick something on the street. A little bit of a weird experience. We just got accosted in the street by this lady and called a word that I know from when I lived around Arabic speaking places that I'm not going to repeat right now because we're in a public place. It's very interesting. I'm sure in no way indicative of the rest of the people in the town. Not a real great start to our uh, tour of Konya. And I know it makes Kate super uncomfortable. It very much does. I'm very uncomfortable. Which double sucks because I'm trying to let Kate know that she, you know, she doesn't have to be scared in these places that are a bit different than us and then you know when something like that happens it really kind of says well you know there's crazy people everywhere Istanbul was wonderful long travel on a train long walk took a taxi got accosted it's time to eat came in he just asked if you wanted chicken or beef so we'll see what we get <laughs> well the food's looking up wow that is quite a plate very good chilies i love the crunch Ooh, really hot now that is fantastic. All of this for $8. That was quite an amazing meal. It even came with rice pudding. But now with the full belly, I think I'm going back to take a nap at the hotel. 3.28 a.m. The one day I feel like I want to sleep in, but I can't because our hotel has breakfast included. So we're headed there now. The one day that you feel like you want to sleep in? Well, yeah. That's... It is. Because yesterday, yesterday we had, that, or day before that, yesterday. The one day. I oh, shut up. The, <laughs> we, we actually woke up and we sat around for a few hours and realized we'd missed breakfast. And then we set an alarm. And this time, I'm tired. Off we go. <laughs> Roaming the streets today, looking for tickets to see the Whirling Dervishes tonight at the Cultural Center. You probably can't hear me. We'll get back to you in a little bit. Now for the 
fun part. We have to figure out where we get tickets, how we get tickets, and all the rest. <laughs> Believe we got an answer. One of the really nice security guard at the cultural center used his phone to translate for us. We need to be here at 9 p.m. Costs 30 Turkish lira, which is about two dollars. Now you know as much as we do. <laughs> it's a beautiful cultural center. So now we're gonna go to a the Twirl twirling dervishes uh, museum. You know anything about it? Absolutely nothing, but they're supposed to tell us. We are very ill prepared for this visit. We just came out on a whim because our friend said, hey, you should go there and check this out. So here we are, checking it out. coverings on your feet. That's what it looks like when it's lit up, and that is the QR code you can check out if you would care to. This museum, it was free. You have to go into it. The architecture and the glass and the fabric, it was beautiful. And all of the signs are in about four different languages. Thankfully, one of those was English. Just learned a ton. Like, it's there's a lot of history here. It's really an interesting site. We don't go to a ton of museums. Definitely glad we came to this one. Yeah. What's next? We're actually gonna go out the exit. Hey, you know. This one piqued my interest. It's an archaeological museum. It says it hasn't been touched in years. It hasn't been modernized, so there's not a lot of English or a lot of the other stuff, but it just sounded intriguing. They said you have to get there before they modernize it because it is special. So let's go check. It's not modernized. They got video cameras right there. We were ex expecting to have to pay, but the guard came out and said, just go on in. I've ever seen a more just randomly cool collection of artifacts, just all sorts of stuff. It's really impressive. Thousand BC. This place totally blowing me away. It's stuff from 2000 BC laying around over there. God, 6300. I'm blown away. I have never seen so much detail in the sarcophagus, sarcophagus before. This is a great museum. No wonder they said it's a hidden gem. It's beautiful. I'm so glad we came here. I concur with the blonde lady. That may do us in for the afternoon. Probably gonna head back and take a nap. The Dervish show starts a little later than we usually stay out. So we will catch up with you then. Well, you know how easily distracted we are. We were gonna head home, but then Kate read about this park, Aladdin Hill Park. What a beautiful little park right in the middle of the city. It's very peaceful. It's got trees and birds. I'm there. I mean, I'm here, but you know. And a bench. Yep, let's sit.
light is it well oh that's a little better so we just returned from the whirling dervish exhibition kate is a trooper she's gonna appear on camera here in a second she ate a little cake that apparently wasn't good and that cake is kicking her back pretty hard but she has agreed to give us her thoughts on the dervish show hi hello it was pretty amazing for uh, it's about 40 45 minutes of twirling and <laughs> they really have trained for that without getting uh, dizzy. It was very impressive and it was well worth the 30 lira each. It's like $2. Yeah. You have to ask around because all the paperwork and all the posters say seven. So it could be because it's Ramadan, but we are not sure why they switched it to 9 p.m. My thoughts. That was the most spellbinding and enchanting performance I think I've ever seen. Definitely in recent memory. It was, I, I, we got some video. I doubt that the spirit and the feeling will come through, but the whole thing from start to finish was just mystical and it really touched me. So that was, I'm so grateful we got to do that. Uh, Rumi, the, the Sufi uh, Muslim mystic and poet is the one who started the order. And so this is where Rumi's buried and the the whirling dervishes are from here in Konya and so seeing this as a cultural performance the real deal was just wow uh, I'm gonna let her sleep I'm gonna get us ready to take our trip to our next town in the morning and we will probably catch you from the bus station peace good morning as you can tell we are no longer in the hotel and Katie looks a bit better I feel better we are at the Konya main bus station. It's enormous and quite impressive. Definitely want to say thanks to Ahmed, the manager of the hotel. That hotel was wonderful. If you're ever in Konya, you have to stay at the Rumi. 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 R-U-M-I, Rumi Hotel. Staff was fantastic. The rooms are comfortable. The breakfast was really nice. Huge. Centrally located to everything that we'd want to do. And Ahmed came in on his day off to get us to the train station and then, I mean, the bus station, and then walked us in and, and made sure we found out which gate we were going to, which is nice because we booked Flix Bus, which works really good, but they don't actually run Flix buses here. They're subcontract through uh, Kamil Hoch. I'll write it, you tell me how you think it's pronounced. Well, I couldn't ask for, and the city is very walkable. People are really nice. Yeah. We started out a little rough, but after that, it was just straight up. Yeah. Um, nice. Had a really lovely overall experience here. We are going to uh, take care of our last minute stuff before the bus gets here, and we will catch you on the road. Oh, did we say where we're going? No. Yeah. Where are we going? I don't know. Uh, Antalya. Look at you go. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Peace. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>